What you just heard were the distinctive sounds of an Arizona diamondback rattlesnake. What you are about to read, what you're about to see, what you're about to be made aware of is a journey with a man in Maricopa County who has the evolved characteristics of famous Southwest snake and who works for the Arizona Maricopa Prosecutor's Office. His name is Juan Martinez who carries with him the characteristics of a diamondback with his rapid fire wit and the sense of prey personality who can strike out from meticulously accurate and successful methods. Watching Mr. Martinez questioning Dr. Richard Samuels, he exposed his fangs and poisonous tongue as his heat sensing pit challenges the testimony accuracy. It slashes the difference in testimony a fraction at a time apart to establish the credibility of the witness testifying on behalf of Jody Ares. The heat given off by this witness is clearly detected by Juan Martinez, helping him to determine predator from prey or compromised witness or absolute truthful and accurate testimony. He has that ability to find the truth. Juan Martinez is considered one of the best prosecutors in the United States criminal justice system. He makes his home in Maricopa County, surrounded by the desert, grassy landscape, high buildings, and paved roads that lead in and out of the desert floor, ranging from close to sea level to over 9,000 feet high mountains. At the moment, Arizona is the home of this pit viper. The Diamondback ranges throughout the southwest United States, Arizona, California, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas, and the northern half of Mexico. Mr. Martinez ranges from the Maricopa courtrooms, taking care of business related to those homicides occurring or occurred in the county, which include Phoenix, Glendale, Tempe, Scottsdale, Avondale, Mesa, and many other numerous smaller communities within the sphere of jurisdiction of the court. Currently, western diamondback rattlesnakes are not threatened or endangered. Unlike the western diamondback, the characteristics and integrity of this man, Juan Martinez, are threatened and endangered as they are becoming less and less evident in court cases everywhere, including outside Arizona. The Arizona diamondback eats mice, rats, rabbits, gophers, ground-dwelling birds, lizards, and other small animals. A felony homicide prosecutor like Juan Martinez all challenges the job to seek the truth and justice or murder cases, whether high profile or not. They handle capital crime cases, death penalty, and effectively contest in heated exchanges with persons defending the accused and those pending conviction of murder who are best known for their manipulative and deceptive ways to avoid telling the truth. Diamondbacks have many predators in the wild, and not always because a predator wants to eat them. Animals such as deer, antelope, cows, and horses regard the diamondback as a threat, and they may try to trample or stomp the snake. Eagles, hawks, roadrunners, king snakes, coyotes, bobcats, or fox are predators who look for a snake as a source of food. Hence, a viper has to be mobile, agile, and intelligent enough to avoid being killed. At this point, I hope you understand that this is a respectful analogy of the Arizona Diamondback. As an evolved Diamondback, Mr. Martinez has many predators and not always those who are perceived to be the enemy, but rather those who wear expensive suits, charge high dollar fees for criminal defense trials, use expensive expert testimonies to sway their cases, and treat the prosecutor as a prey rather than a predator. In addition to his courtroom nemesis, he has to tolerate the anger, the hate, the wrath of those individuals who are supporting the defendant, standing trial for murder, known to possess dangerous ideologies and distorted personal personality and criminal traits. Diamondbacks will often spend the hot daytime hours quarreled in the shade of low growing shrubs, piles of natural artificial debris, or rocks. They will also utilize underground burrows for other animals. In the winter, they retreat into caves or similar places to hibernate. Mr. Martinez does not hibernate. He's on the job 24-7. He's a creature who lives in air-conditioned office space of the Maricopa County buildings and not in his private home and often travels from the courtroom to his office under surveillance of the cameras. The lifespan of an Arizona Western Diamondback lives approximately 15 to 20 years in captivity. Mr. Martinez, a free man, has a long and prosperous career ahead of him. He's a rare find in a diamond in the desert 
of the Southwest. It's with level of certainty Mr. Martinez is primed to run for public office after his successful demonstration of justice in the Jody Reyes case and several other cases, including the prosecution of former police officer Richard Risman. Some snakes range from three to five feet long, reaching seven feet. A rattlesnake move has rattled back and forth 60 or more times per second. Mr. Martinez is a giant in the courtroom. He's visible, easily noted, or seen by his colossal size of competence and intelligence. Mr. Martinez, when inside a courtroom, can break a diamondback record easy and move much quicker than the eye can see. What makes Mr. Martinez a great felony trial prosecutor? He never forgets his purpose. It sounds trite, maybe, but it's very true. His job is to do justice, not get convictions, not send people to prison, not max out sentencing whenever he can. Do justice. So the first, perhaps the most important qualification is adherence to his principle. He enjoys being in trial. He's really good at this, enjoys doing it. He's not timid, retiring, wallflower type of an attorney. He's able to see the big picture. He has a keen instinct to look at a case, the defendant, the witness, and know whether you can achieve and what you can achieve. It's all standing on principle and insisting on trial. He refuses to see any negativity in his cases and focuses on the big picture. Not afraid to attack the defendant, even when they're former cops. As an excellent prosecutor, he's a good listener, as well as a good talker. And by good, we mean discerning, sharp, and judicious. He listens to the victim the victim's family, seeing what will make them whole and human and know how to handle evidence in the cases. He listens closely to the defense lawyer. He or she usually tell his keen sense of prey where the case is going to be weak. He listens to his colleagues. He knows how to make it work right out the experience of those around him so they can help him win his case. Martinez keeps it perspective. He has one of the most difficult yet one of the best jobs in the world. He likes helping families of the victims bring justice to the case. The following is my personal opinion. Juan Martinez is given a badge and a cool title. He's entrusted with a huge amount of discretion. He would be the first to say he's not a deity or God. Does he does not consider himself a superhero. Expect others to see him with unrealistic expectations. Juan Martinez is real. He's excellent with a great win record for high profile cases and difficult trials at his best and treats others as humans and remains in touch or connected to the cases he's working on.